the fourth thing that men need to to be successful to have a successful successful foundation in a dating and relationship game is boundaries so first we had the courage and the strength but in order to flex the courage and the strength you need boundaries right um because they going if you ain't have you don't have boundaries they're gonna run a mile around you they're gonna run circles around you and i want you guys to understand something women love and respect boundaries women love and respect boundaries not handcuffs and leashes not a leash not handcuffs but boundaries they love and respect boundaries and they love and respect a man that has boundaries and enforces those boundaries right <clears throat> there's a big difference between a leash and boundaries a leash is basically telling a person what she can and can't do right or you can't wear this you can't do this that's that's a leash that's handcuffs you can't go here uh, you need to be in the house at 10 p.m. That's handcuffs. Those are leash. That's a leash. Boundaries are, okay, you know, this is what I require to be with me, right? Respect. You're going to respect me. You're going to carry yourself a certain type of way. You're free to do whatever you want to do, but make sure you're respecting me. Make sure you're respecting this relationship. You can go do whatever you want to do, right? And when women respect your boundaries, they're not going to do whatever they want to do. If that makes sense. You see what I'm saying? If you're the type of guy who's, um, you know, puts handcuffs or leashes or what they would co consider controlling, you would be the more so like you would be trying to check the phones and go through the phones and trying to dictate her pace and, oh, delete this guy, unfollow this guy versus a guy that has boundaries saying, says, you know, you know, you can do what you want to do. You're free to do what you want to do, but I'm not going to deal with a woman who shows cleavage on the internet. I'm not going to deal with a woman who, uh, you know, uh, communicates with her ex via social media or entertains sexual attention online. If that's what you want to do, cool, do it. I'm not forcing you to, you can live your life, but I'm not going to deal with that. And, and when you have your boundaries, I know it sounds the same thing, but it's not the same thing, right? When you have boundaries, they'll respect that more if they respect you than you trying to control their life for them. You see what I'm saying? Are you trying to be they fucking daddy or they just you see what i'm saying are you trying to tell them what they can and can't do people when when when, when you have boundaries and you enforce your boundaries and, and, and you good with your game you basically you basically controlling the mind versus trying to control the body you see what i'm saying and the best way to get a woman on your team and to have her following your program is through the mind if you try to if you try to imprison a person's body for so long um, and not not literally, but for so long, they, they grow to resent you. You see what I'm saying? Because they feel that they don't have the freedom to move about and do whatever and make their own decisions, right? When you have boundaries and, 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 and things like that, it's like they get to make the decision if they want to, uh, if they want to stay within the boundaries or not. And a lot of times, nine times out of 10, they gonna choose to stay within those boundaries if they want the relationship to be successful. You see what I'm saying? But when you're trying to force them and when you're trying to go through the phone and tell them you can't wear this, you can't wear this, you can't wear that, you're gonna get a you're gonna get it. Human beings are naturally rebellious. You're gonna get the rebel spirit, right? You see what I'm saying? And it's only so long a woman may comply with you. A woman may comply with you temporarily, right? When you're being forceful or you putting handcuffs on her. But over time, she's going to grow resentful and then she's going to start bucking. She's going to start to get either sneaky or she's going to start rebelling against this um, uh, quote unquote control. You have to be a little bit more smart in the way that you, you get women on your program. You see what I'm saying? And the best way to do that is by enforcing boundaries and you saying, okay, these are my guidelines. You do whatever you want to do. If you violate, we done. And you have to have the courage and the strength to enforce that. I don't allow people to talk to me that type of way. You see what I'm saying? I don't allow people to disrespect me when they speak to me, right? Those are boundaries. So women love a man who, women love a man who says, uh, you know, you're not going to talk to me any kind of way. You see what I'm saying? They'll respect that. If you don't have boundaries, they're going to talk to you any kind of way. They're going to stress you out. They're going to cause you problems. And you're just going to be, uh, uh, you just going to be the outlet for all of their emotional baggage, bullshit, bullshit, and toxicity.
but a man who has boundaries and he don't allow that, you see what I'm saying? They love and they do respect that. Always remember though, women respect and love boundaries, not handcuffs, not leashes, and they don't want to be controlled, so to speak. You see what I'm saying? Um, another thing too, um, you guys have to understand is that a woman's character, right? A woman's character is based on the man that she's with, right? I'm not saying her moral compass, but the things that a woman does, not even, I'm not even going to say her character. Let me try. I, I need another word for it. But uh, the way a woman treats a person, the women, treat. Let's, I just say this, women treat different men differently. So a woman may be with me and treat me like a king, get with you and treat you like a dirt bag. That's because you allow that. You see what I'm saying? I've had little women around me that I was dealing with. A dude call him and she pick up the phone. She pick up the phone and, you know, talk to him like he she, he was crazy. Talk to him like shit. Treat him like shit. I've had women, countless women tell me the type of shit that they do with other dudes. And they wouldn't dare do it with me. You see what I'm saying? So the way that a woman treats you is basically based on you. It's based on the man that she's with. And if he has boundaries or not. A lot of y'all don't have boundaries because you don't have courage and you don't have strength. Because if you think that, you know, you think that, you know, if, 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 you know, if you have these boundaries or you have, you know, these guidelines and these codes for dealing with you, you think women ain't going to deal with you because of your standards. And that's the furthest thing, furthest thing from the truth. You see what I'm saying? Always remember, fellas, that you get what you allow in this life. So if you allow women to treat you like and treat you crazy and stress you out and cheat on you and talk to you crazy and disrespect you, that's exactly what they're going to do. I don't care who she is. I don't care where she come from. If you that type of man or where you don't have a code, you don't have boundaries, if a woman chooses to deal with you, she's going to run all over you. And if she sees it, some women know if they see that you, you, you're not solid like that, they just won't deal with you. So you're going to lose either way, right? But men today need boundaries. And this is why women running wild like they running wild because most men don't have boundaries you know they let women talk to them all kind of way they let them flake on them all type of shit. you see what i'm saying and this has become the standard you feel me 